You need to build relationships with people if you want to share the gospel. Always remember this. Most people first need to know that you care about them before they will care about what you have to say. You cannot share the gospel without love because that is who God is. 1 John 4 verse 7 to 11 says, Beloved, let us love one another for love is from God and whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. Anyone who does not love does not know God because God is love. This is who God is. And this is why He came to die for us on the cross, Jesus Christ, because of love. In the next verse, he says, In this the love of God was made manifest among us, that God sent His only Son into the world so that we might live through Him. In this is love, not that we have loved God, but that He loved us and sent His Son to be the propitiation for our sins. Do you remember the most important commandment of them all? The one thing that everything else depends on. Love your God as yourself and love your neighbor. If you truly love your neighbor as yourself, if you truly love God, you will care about their souls. The Bible says, Jesus said, you, must. you will share the gospel with them. You will build relationships with them to get to know them, who they are as a person. So if you speak to someone, you need to know who they are, what they care about in order to preach the gospel to them, to share the gospel to them effectively so that they will be able to understand what you are saying. We clearly see the example of Jesus, how he developed relationships with people, even with sinners. He went to eat with sinners, even when the religious people judged him for it. Luke 5 verse 27 to 32. After this, he went out and saw a tax collector named Levi sitting at the tax booth. And he said to him, follow me and leaving everything he rose and he followed him and levi made him a great feast in his house and there was a large company of tax collectors and others reclining at the table with them and the pharisees and their scribes grumbled at his disciples saying why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners and jesus answered them those who are well have no need of a physician but those who are sick I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Now, of course, you need to be wise in how you build relationships with people because you can't control time. Sometimes God will send you someone at a specific time and you won't have enough time to build a deep relationship with them. Maybe you meet them at an airport while waiting for your flight. So then the Holy Spirit might lead you to be more direct and share the gospel. Maybe God's already worked in their heart and they're more ready to accept Christ. And God knows the future. You don't. You don't even know. They might die the next day. And that's why the Holy Spirit is pushing in you to go and talk to that person before it is too late. And then there are other times, other situations where the Holy Spirit might lead you to take a little bit longer. Not to push someone, but to take some time with this person. Little by little sharing the gospel because you see them a lot. This might be someone that you work with at your office or someone at the gym or sports club. You need to be wise and let God lead you in this. And be careful not to push the gospel on someone when you're in your flesh. Don't push it on them if the Holy Spirit don't lead you to do so. Because if you do it at the wrong time, you might just push that person even further away from the gospel. It happens a lot. Those righteous Christians, very judgmental, and they preach the gospel, hellfire, brimstone in the flesh. Sometimes the Holy Spirit might even lead you to do it as well, depending on who you talk to. But these people, if they do it in the flesh, they hurt other people. And then these people are pushed away from the gospel. They don't want to hear anything. Pray. Let the Holy Spirit lead you. Never share the gospel in your own flesh. And pray to God for an open door. He will prepare someone for you. The disciples also prayed for this. Paul said in Colossians 4 verse 3 to 6, Pray also for us that God may open to us a door for the word to declare the mystery of Christ. And in verse 5 he says, 
walk in wisdom toward outsiders, making the best use of the time. Let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how you ought to answer each person.